Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm bringing you a tag video. So as you might be able to tell from the sloshing around, today I'm doing the coffee book tag. I'm gonna put that down or it's gonna annoy me the whole time. So this video was circulating when I first found booktube and I meant to do it but then just never did. So I'm kind of late, but I'm going to do it anyways. Question number one, Black Coffee. Name a series that's hard to get into but has hardcore fans. And for this I have two answers. And those are A Court of Thorns and Roses and Red Queen. So these are two series that both have huge followings, but they're kind of hard to get into. My best friend started reading this and says she's having a bit of trouble getting into the storyline. And for Red Queen, a lot of people don't like it, but if they do like it, they all the way like it, which is me. <laughs> so. Leave your nasty comments down below. <laughs> Question number two is peppermint mocha. Name something that you see more in the winter season or the Christmassy season, and that would be Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I did a huge mess up and bought the second book in the series, The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily, instead of the first book, so I haven't read the first book or the second book. I just have this one hanging out. Question number three is hot chocolate. What is your favorite children's book? So when I was a kid, I used to read all the little critter books by Mercer Mare, and they were just my thing. We used to collect them when we were kids. We had a whole bunch. I loved them. My favorite was I Was So Mad, because that's who I was as a kid and into adulthood. But now that I'm an adult and working as a preschool teacher, I really like the Don't Let the Pigeon books by Mo Williams. That might be his name. That might not be his name. But they are like books where the kids get to answer back while you're reading, which makes it so much more fun for the adult and the kids. Question number four is Double Espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from the start to the finish. And that would have to be Pretty Broken Things by Sana Cheraporcha and Danelli Clayton or Danielle Clayton. Not sure how to say your names. Sorry. Still haven't gotten better at that, but yeah. Or Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. These are two very different books. Uh, Tiny Pretty Things is a book that follows a ballet academy in New York City and it is full of drama, very cutthroat, very crazy outlandish, full of mystery, very interesting. Uh, Red Queen is more of a dystopian novel, fantasy almost, where there are two types of people, reds and silvers, and it's kind of about a girl named Mare who ends up working in the silver, ca silver capital and adventure ensues. So if you're interested in either of those, I will leave the Goodreads links down below. Question number five is Starbucks. Name a book you see everywhere. So I've seen a lot of books everywhere on booktube, but here's one that's more recent and that's The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I love this book cover. I love the back. If you can see there's an outline of an individual. Uh, I have not read this book yet. I'm getting to it. TBR jars are slow going sometimes. But it has been popping up everywhere with good reason. This is inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement. And I am extremely interested to see how this story reads and how our main character reads. I have heard nothing but positive feedback about this book, so I can't wait to get into it. I'm just repping my Tim Hortons. Canada. Question number six is that hipster coffee shop. And while I'm not the most hip person, I'm gonna try. Uh, it is Name an Indie Author. So when I first started blogging, a author sent me a book for a review, and that book was named and that book's title was Florence, and it was by Chai Cho. I'm really sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. C I Y E C H O. I continued to read these books for the author and really enjoyed them overall. Uh, it follows the story of a girl who kind of discovers a mermaid kingdom and her life while well, she is involved in that kingdom. So there's three books out, I do believe. I don't know if there's another one coming out. I think there might be can't remember. This was a long time ago. But I would recommend for anyone who's interested in a middle grade mermaid read. Question number seven. Oops, I accidentally got decaf. Name a book you were expecting more from. Uh, Replica by Lauren Oliver. I was extremely disappointed in that book and I recently picked up before I follow an audiobook, not expecting a lot from the author, but really enjoyed that book instead. So I don't think it was the author's writing style, but the plot itself that just was not for me. I will not be continuing with that series. <laughs> I will not be continuing with that series. And uh, yeah, 
there's I'm getting rid of it. Hopefully doing a book on haul soon. Yay! <laughs> the perfect blend. Question number eight. And the final question. Name a book that came to an ending that was bittersweet. And for me, I haven't finished a lot of series that are like done, finito, done. I did like the Percy Jackson series when I first read it, but I'm rereading it now and kind of getting a more critical eye for it. Uh, Harry Potter, which is the classic answer, of course. And the other one would be Ashes by Ilsa J. Bick. And I actually don't own this series, but it is one of the first series that I read with a kick-ass main character in a world where uh, the dystopian apocalypse style thing is just starting. It's just happening, and she's experiencing it as it's going on. And it follows her and a whole bunch of other characters. And I love it, and it's so good. Read it. Alright you guys, this has been the Coffee Book Tag, and I hope you enjoy. Go get yourself a cup of joe or tea or whatever beverage you like on this lovely summery day, or not so summery day because it's freaking raining in my hometown, and we will see you next week. Bye!